Hey, it's the Odd Man. Today I am on the west side of Big Bend National Park. This video is the west side story. You know, Big Bend National Park. Say it soft and it's almost like praying. Say it loud and there's music playing. Did a hike in the Cheese Basin. Did a run out the Chimneys Trail. And then I'll go to St. Elena Canyon and hike that canyon. I, it's one of the sort of signature hikes of this location. Should be a good day. The Chisos Basin is a huge geological feature here in the middle of the park. So I wanted to see it and do a hike that took advantage of how cool that was. So I climbed the Emory Peak. The Chisos Basin has quite a lot of trails in it. And the best known really are this Emory Peak Trail and the South Rim Trail. And I ended up doing the Emory Peak Trail, of course. Even though I wasn't planning to do it, this basin and that peak are too cool to pass up. This is the Chisos Basin in the center of Big Bend National Park. It isn't really clear from the maps how much of a basin this really is. It's quite cool. This basin is a completely different park. It's clearly the center for hiking. There's tons of trails, tons of hikers, tons of people here walking the trails, but no car camping. Where the outside of the basin was all car camping. Emory Peak. I think it's that one. That's where I'm headed. The most nerve wracking part of the whole hike is I can't recall if I locked the car. <sighs> this campsite is in a nice spot. Switchbacks, switchbacks, and more switchbacks. The story of my life. I'm about halfway. Lunch stop. The rumor I heard here is that the last mile and a half is more like five. It's going to be really steep, really windy. I look forward to it. Well, I've had lunch and my but is more tired than my legs, so I guess it's time to get cooking. I'm not very far up the trail from the cutoff there, but look at this view towards the southwest. A little non-technical scramble here. Ouch. <sighs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Burned myself on my motorcycle. Damn near hit the pet too. Your motorcycle feeling. What's that? Hiking is feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Breathing. Hey man, you YOLO. will die. <laughs> YOLO. Right? You only live once. Yeah. Uh, that's it. You, you chew up from College Station or you chew up no. from College Station? Where's College Station? Is that? It's uh, between the Triangle Aguiland. and. Dallas, Aguiland, yeah, A Texas A and M, but between Dallas, Houston, and Austin, it's like right in the center. Okay. Triangle, Central, East. All right, here we go.
Okay, can you hold up for just a second? Did you think that was scary? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it was scary. <laughs> I think that was one of the scariest activities I've ever engaged in. Certainly the scariest hike ever. I bet half a step to your side, there's a thousand foot drop. It was scary. All right, moment of truth. See if I liked it or not. Yay, yeah, it's locked. See, I had better things to worry about than that. This trail is the Chimneys Trail. There's some petroglyphs at the Chimneys, so I look forward to looking to seeing that. It's about five miles, just a little short of five miles round trip. And that should be a pretty good length, except I'm not feeling particularly spiffy this morning. I think I have a cold. But for now, it's about 52 degrees out, sunny and beautiful. So I'm a little chilly, but once I get cooking, I'm going to I'm going to be too warm so on the average I should be good You think that's them in the distance out there See there's all these prickly pear cactuses they look so bright It's like they're shiny <laughs> This trail goes on, I think it's another four miles to the old Maverick Road. Well, let's see if we can find some petroglyphs. Last time I looked for petroglyphs, I never did find any. There's a trail here and this looks kind of like a likely spot. I still don't see anything that I would think of as definitively petroglyphs. Here we go. It was on the single rock. It wasn't on that other big structure. These just kind of appear nonsensical, don't they? Probably some vandal in the 1800s.
that little chimney was the only place where there were petroglyphs that I could find. But at least we found them. That was cool. Now the run back to the car. There's not much elevation gain, but enough to be noticeable. It'll make it a good run. I love that stuff. I'm down in the Castellan area of the park. This is the very south and west side, headed to St. Elena Canyon. which I think is that notch right there. This is one of the iconic hikes in this park. And as you can see, the place is pretty much full. It's not a very long hike. So I'm going to go get it done so I can come back and have ice cream. I've been in the desert a week now and haven't even had ice cream yet. This is the second place on the Rio Grande I've seen folks painting. There were some up on Boquillas Canyon too. Looks like a guy could save some time. Got right across here. But I'm not in any hurry. So it looks like the trail goes around this little inlet. I'll go up there. For one of the main trails in the National Park, this one kind of sucks. No signs. Loose scree. Not clear which many multiple paths we should be taking here. I don't know if it's St. Elena, St. Elena, or St. Elena. This canyon is so tall and deep, the GPS signal seems to come off and on for the spot. This is clearly the end of the trail no no going any further than this i guess i had done the things i really wanted to do here today but 
I was sitting in the car, it was only 2.45, and I thought, well, I think I'll do this Burrow Springs hike, because the reality is the springs, in your imagination, the springs is such an oasis in the desert. It's got to be cool, right? So with that, I said, okay, let's go do it. It's only two and a half miles out and back, so um, not a long hike but certainly enough to make me feel good. Oh, look at this. The trail goes up into the shade. How sweet is that? I haven't seen that, I don't think, on any other hike yet. So, when I left the car, I didn't have much planned, so all I took was the GoPro. I didn't take the satellite tracker or my phone with the All Trails app on it. In retrospect, that was probably kind of silly. I mean, it's only two and a half miles, nothing's gonna happen. But I have that stuff. In this environment, it seems silly to leave it in the car. Oh, look at this. Real greenery. There you have it. Burrow Springs. Oh, there's water. But yeah, I don't think I'm climbing down in there. That's it for Big Bend National Park. Time to hit the road. Hey, thanks for watching. You rock. This is the odd man, out.